All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're working on today, uh, if you watched our video on doing the oil change, uh, when I was just going through everything else uh, since I was doing that, I saw that we had a ripped CV boot. Uh, so we went ahead and got a new CV axle for it. And that's what we're gonna be working on today. And here's the new one. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for these. Uh, this one uh, is a Napa one. And let me see if I can get a part number on here for you. And this is the driver's side, and that's the part number right there. So, all right, let's go ahead and jack this up, get the tire off, and start taking it apart. All right, get your fingers in here and then pull out on there. Yep, gotta pull hard. All right, let's get the, there you go, rip them right out, rip it out, pull, <laughs> I'll give you a little help here, oh yeah, those are tight, ooh, pull hard, there we go, now set that off to the side, all right, let's go ahead and get the lug nuts off and the tire, all right, Take them off one at a time. Get it all the way on there. There you go. Hit it. No, you gotta leave it on there. Leave it on there. Now, now do it. All right. Oh, perfect. All right. Work your way around. All right. Good job. Yep. Yep, pull that right off of there. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we'll roll it down this way. So then we're going to go ahead and remove the caliper, and then we're going to go ahead and remove this axle nut here. All right, in your calipers, it's going to be a 17 mil to remove those two bolts. Now that we got that one loosened up, let's go ahead and get the other one broke, and then we can take them both out of there. Uh, you don't want to take the one all the way out, because then if the other one's as hard to get off as that, it's going to fold on you, and it's going to be a pain in the butt. Still tight. go there's one let's get that top one out all right so now we'll get a bungee and we'll get the rotor and caliper up out of the way you can release the pads in here uh, to get it off the rotor uh, you just stick a screwdriver in the back here and then press them side to side or you can just leave the whole thing like that that way you can just slap it right back on go ahead and get this keeper out of here There we go. Now let's go ahead and take this net axle nut off. And we got a one and one quarter. We'll go ahead and take this off. Now we'll go ahead and get these two bolts off that hold the strut. And you can see the leaking boot back there so that's why we're replacing it and this might actually be the original CV axle to this vehicle actually has the Nissan part numbers on it and everything and these two bolts are 17 mil as well let's hit these with some PB blast There we go. 
All right, we're gonna have to get a wrench on that side. And that's also gonna be 17 for these as well. Got the second one out. Now that we got that all off of here, we can go ahead and pull this out to the side. A little tough to do with one hand. There we go. All right. And now we can give this some wax with the hammer. There it goes. go all right so i'll make sure to blow this all out all that junk rust that just came out so now you just got to pull on this thing and it should come right out and give it a tug There we go. Old crowbar got it. Look at that. Nasty. Alright. There's our old one. This thing was definitely shot. Yeah. Alright. Let's get the new one out. There's our new one. Even comes with a new nut. All right, so as you can notice, <laughs> that part is still in there, so we gotta go ahead and get it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never can be just easy. See, it's still in there. So we gotta maybe try the pry bar and get that out, or we'll have to use some other type of method. All right, so that sucker is not coming out. So we're gonna have to get underneath the car and we're gonna put uh, one of the crowbars uh, facing this way and we're gonna try and hammer it out from the back. Didn't even need to hammer it. There we go. There it is. 
is. I got a pan under here. If you work in the rust belt, this is what you deal with. But at least you know, it should be a simple job, but you may run into something like this. So all you gotta do is get behind it and get it out. They do make the tools uh, an inner uh, axle puller and stuff like that uh, with the slide hammer you can use and stuff, but you don't need to go buy any extra tools. Uh, I thought I was gonna have to hammer it out, uh, but I was actually able to just use a crowbar and pop it right out of there. You can see there's that clip there. You want the open side facing the bottom when you put this in. So that's gonna be on the bottom. There we go. And what we did was just push it right back in there. And we can go underneath and check and make sure it's flush up against there. And it's in there right. So let's go ahead. We'll clean this out. There we go. Yeah, send it all the way through. Let's get the nuts back on there. So now we got that on, we got our two bolts on, let's go ahead and torque them down. Uh, your axle nut here is going to be 150 foot-pounds, and then each of these that connect the steering knuckle to your strut is going to be 100 pounds, 100 foot-pounds. Alright. Alright, easy as that. Go ahead and throw the rotor and caliper back on. Alright, got that back on. Let's go ahead and put our two bolts in. Let's go ahead and torque this down to 150 foot-pounds. There we go. All right, this one didn't come with a new pin, but luckily we got plenty and I already matched one up. So we'll go ahead and put this new one in. So there we go, new CV axle installed. Let's go ahead and throw the tire on and take it for a test drive and see if we hear any more noises coming from it. And we're just double checking our transmission fluid, making sure we got enough in there. Top it off if you need to, depending on how much fluid you lost. Hopefully you shouldn't lost that much. All right dark out but driving good no weird funky noises coming from that side anymore and I think we're all set so all right we'll meet you back at the shop 
All right, so we're back. Car runs great, no noises. And there is the old axle. Look at that. So, yep, water was definitely getting in through there. That was broke off there. But yeah, definitely needed to be replaced. And now you know how to troubleshoot it if uh, it gets stuck and breaks off like that. So, got the new one on, we're all set. So make sure to check out the other videos on all the other stuff we've done with the Nissan there. And once again, we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.